Hello everyone, I'm going to read aloud this book called Nugget and Fang, Friends Forever or Snack Time. This is a great story about friendship between two unlikely ant creatures, okay? So here we go. In the deep, deep ocean lived two best friends, Nugget and Fang. They did everything together. They swam over Glug. They swam under Glug Glug. They swam all around Glug Glug Glug. Life was close to perfect. Until it was time for Nugget to go to school. Welcome to a brand new year. On Monday, Nugget was busy with reading. Today's story is about three little minnows and a big bad shark. A big bad shark? Ha, said Nugget, impossible. Nugget was busy with math. But what if there were 10 minnows and a shark came along and ate four of them? How many minnows are left? Is this a trick question? A shark would never do that, said Nugget. Hmm. And Nugget was busy with science. Sharks are scary. Here's the proof. Hmm. The stuff on that poster isn't true, said Nugget. My best friend is a shark. Have you lost your gills? Sharks and minnows can't be friends. Hello, sharks eat minnows. Nugget was shocked and apparently delicious. This afternoon, Nugget explained it all to Fang. Sharks are to thee. Sharks are scary. Sharks and minnows can't be friends. Sounds fishy to me, said Fang. It's true, see, said Nugget. He held up his test. He, then he swam far, far away. Fang's heart sank. There was nothing he could do about being toothy. But he needed his best buddy back. He had to prove he wasn't scary. On Tuesday, Minnie Minnows had a surprise visitor. A very big surprise visitor. This visitor gave Nugget his friendliest smile. Sharks, swim for your lives! Oh my algae, said Nugget. It's Fang. On Wednesday, Fang tried a different approach. Dear Nugget, I'd love to have you over for dinner. Sincerely, Fang. He wants to eat you for dinner. Holy mackerel, said Nugget. On Thursday, Fang tried everything he could think of. A tattoo, a special delivery, you're fantastic. A song and dance, the wild seahorses, but nothing worked. On Friday, Fang was out of ideas. All alone, he swam over. Blub. He swam under. Blub, blub. He swam under all around. Blub, blub, blub. Life was not even close to perfect. Fang was so busy boohooing, he didn't notice a net drop down 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 right on the mini minnows oh no i feel seasick what's this one say we're the catch of the day oh no the net pulled up 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 somebody help fang squinted Nugget. He had to do something, but what? Look 
at all his friends in the net. Fang fanned his gills. He wrung his fins. Then, ping, Fang had a plan. Danger, shark sighted, big shark teeth. That was posted by the mini minnows. Fang's big sharp teeth chomped. Fang's big sharp, sharp, sharp teeth chewed. Fang saved the mini minnows. All the minnows stared. Hmm. I know, I know, said Fang. I'm toothy, too scary, too shark. Hmm. Nugget swam toward Fang. There are, were 10 minnows, he said, and a very special shark came along. How many minnows, how many friends are there all together? Wait! There was only one answer. In the deep, deep ocean lived 11 friends. They swam over, gluck. They swam under, glug glug. They swam all around, glug glug glug. And everyone was all smiles, especially you know who. <laughs> so cute. And then this one I want to show you without reading it. It says, Fang's food chain. And there's a picture of Fang. And what does he look like he eats? Not minnows. I think he's a vegetarian. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the story between two unlikely friends. Take care, gators.